Adventures in Pixie Land presents your daily energy reading. Today's daily astrology reading for March 17th, 2024 is the first quarter moody moon in quick moving Gemini in the morning. Later in the day, that moody moon moves into emotional cancer. The self-focused sun is conjunct the planet of illusion Neptune in compassionate Pisces. First quarter moons are about slowing things down and planning ahead carefully. Focus on adjustments needed, both mental and emotional adjustments. That sun and Neptune alignment mean your compassion and intuition will help you guide your way through these changes. Today is Elder Futhark Daily Rune for March 17th, 2024 is Now These. Now These the letter N, meaning necessity, association, constraint, resistance, need, caution, delays, conflict, and the will to overcome it. Today, your focus is going to be on overcoming obstacles. It's also a day of caution when interacting with others. People are persuasive today. Give yourself some time to think things through before you make any long-term commitments. Today's Daily Romance Angel Oracle card for March 17th, 2024 is Wedding. Wedding. This situation involves marriage. You drew this card because of an upcoming wedding, your own or someone else's. It comes to you because marriage plays a role in the answer to your question. For some people, this card could be a validation that you will get married and asks you to keep the faith and continue enjoying your life without worrying about your future marital status. For others, this card signals that you'll meet a significant other at an upcoming wedding or experience something there that will lead to new romance for you. It can also represent your parents' marriage and the way it affected your feelings and beliefs about relationships. In a few cases, this card asks you to look at your present and past marriages and review your feelings with the intention of healing your heart and your relationship. Perhaps it's time to enlist a marital counselor to help you sort out how you feel. And sometimes this card can signal the end of a marriage in which case the angels support everyone involved as you come to an understanding about the experience and renew your heart's willingness to love. Your Daily Fairy Wisdom Oracle card for March 17th, 2024 is Magic Frog. Magic Frog. Keywords, child. Have a pillow fight with a friend today. Frog fairies are known to be childlike. They encourage innocence and imagination and make us believe in miracles. If you have drawn this card, you are being asked to pay attention to that small child part of you. Nurture them with playfulness and kind words. Praise them for their accomplishments. Let them splash in the mud puddles or sing a silly song, let them giggle, let them find magic in everything they see. Lay off work a bit and take time for joyful fun. If you have forgotten how to play, then just ask a fairy or a small child to help you remember. They know what to do and will guide you every step of the way. Keep an open heart. Fairies and small children have open hearts. Believe. Visualize yourself. Your small self in your arms. Rocking and singing her a lovely lullaby. 
tell her how much she is loved and how special she is. Feel your hearts connect as one as the child snuggles up against your chest. Visualize the healing energy of all the tears and wounds as that energy just dissipates and the void is filled with loving energy. Now the child is ready to play. Hop to it. And the chant is, I am the child within. The child within is me. Together we can once again begin to live and dream. We play beside a wishing well. We run among the reeds. We cast about our eyes to see beyond the troubled seas. No longer do we sit and mope about when what could have been. Today we reach for the stars and shout, for we are on the mend. So be it. Your daily Starseed Oracle card for March 17th, 2024 is The Great Severing. The Great Severing. Mars energy. Anger. Conflict. Softening to love. This is a shadow card. One that might feel confrontational. Don't be afraid. It's here to bring to the surface anything that is standing in the way of letting love in. The warring planet of Mars is our constant reminder that it's important to soften, forgive, and find our way back to love. There are many things in the human experience that make it difficult for our heart and soul to stay open to the never ending source of love. We're all wounded and our unconscious wounds inflict wounds on others. It can feel like a never ending dance we can never escape. If we aren't careful before long when we see the world, we will see it as a scary, dangerous place where fear and anxiety roam free. If this card surfaces, it could be for two reasons. Firstly, for you to acknowledge the difficult emotions, situations, conflicts, wounds, and fears that are causing you pain and anxiety. And secondly, for you to find your way back to love. When we're hurt, it's normal to close off our heart to the world to let the painful experiences confirm the agony of separation in earthly life. Soften and find your way back to love anyway. When fear, anxiety, and paranoia paralyze you, it's normal to want to hide from others and to hide from the world. Come out of your cave and soften your heart anyway. We're all innocent children spinning our way around the world. Find a way to see the innocence in all people, especially yourself. Your star seed soul inquiry. How are you cutting yourself off from love? How can you soften towards those who have hurt you? Your daily Priestess of Light Oracle for March 17th, 2024 is Abundance. Card 28. Abundance. Fortune. Wealth. Plenty. The goddess Lakshmi holds out her hand in divine offering, and the universe responds with such abundant blessings, the gold coins come cascading down. The gold in her gown and on her neck, ears and wrists, shine with the life-giving light of the sun, which radiates upwards from the top of her head. She is the light of the world, bringing boundless generosity. This portends a time of great joy and receptivity for you. The prosperity you've been longing for is coming your way. An investment may pay off. 
or an unexpected windfall may appear. But even if the increase in wealth comes slowly at first, the abundance is sure to expand as you allow yourself to focus on the present value already in your life. Always remember, value comes in many forms. There is good fortune in nature, friendship, and simple moments of small joys. This grateful awareness will shine in your life like the sweet violet aura around Lakshmi's luminous being. At her feet, baby elephants herald the arrival of true prosperity, bringing with them an energy of strength and peaceful certainty. This card is telling you to rest assured. For great joy and prosperity will soon be expanding throughout your life. Your affirmation? I open my mind and life to the blessings of the universe. Unlimited wealth is coming to me in wonderful and unexpected ways. Your daily energy reading for March 17th, 2024 is the astrology is telling you that adjustments are required. Pay attention to what your subconscious tells you needs to change. Uh, now these says you have something you need to push through. So get on it. The romance oracle reminds you that you have an obligation to meet. The fairies remind you that your inner child needs some attention too. The starseed oracle says some source of conflict in your life is hardening your heart to the love vibration. The Priestess of Light Oracle reminds you that abundance is trying to reach you. Please don't block it with your perceptions. So there's some obstacle that has to do with some inner child wound or someone's inner child wound that you might have some obligation to, that something uh, with an obligation is triggering you to work on whatever this is, whatever this hardening of the heart is, or it's your triggering someone's uh, inner child wounds because of where their heart is hardening. So, you know, it all depends on where you are in this equation. And it can be that you're in both at the same time. Someone could be triggering you while you're triggering them. The reality is we don't know how we trigger other people. And this is St. Patrick's Day. So if you're Celtic, like I am, uh, it's one of the many cultures that reside within my, my DNA and definitely the culture I was raised in. Then this is a day when you're around other people and doing other things with those people. And likely you're being triggered or you're triggering them because someone's inner child needs the work. So if that's you, understand that if you're having an emotional reaction to someone else, whatever, you know, especially if it's like sulky kid type of thing, or I feel wounded, or pay more attention to me, why don't you like me kind of energy, if you're having that kind of emotional response, that's an invitation for you to go heal. It's not necessarily something the other person has to do differently as much as it is that you need to do something differently. Maybe this other person just isn't good for you. Maybe every single time you're around this person, they're going to trigger something because it could be that they're triggering something that you need to go heal, which is more most likely uh, or come really what's most likely is a combination. They could be deliberately trying to trigger you if they're in a low energy vibration and they have childhood wounds. Now, if someone's deliberately trying to trigger you and you emotionally react, there's a twofold thing there. Yes, you're, they're trying to make you emotionally react. So that person is not good for you, but that doesn't mean that, uh, you don't have healing to go do in response. We're never really done with healing because it's a series of ego deaths we go to through until we can surrender our free will to creator. 
And until you're ready for my will to thy will to be yes, you're going to be triggered in a variety of emotional ways that are signs that you need to still go heal because you're not necessarily ready to give it all up to God yet. And really what it's in all of those uh, religions, regardless of uh, which one you decide to practice in, it's usually a whole lot, especially if we only has one God. It's a whole lot of bend your will to their will. Meet the obligations of your emotional commitment to yourself to continue to heal and be the best version of you. No excuses for someone else's behavior being the reason why you're not the best version of you. They're, the way they interact with the world is a statement on them and where they're at in their healing. How you emotionally react to them is a statement on yours.